Tyler's actually got a decent swim jig in his boat. I just bought it. Found it in my boat. Found it in the floor of my boat. The jig fishing stupid. <laughs> yeah, he thinks jig fishing stupid. But this week we're on the Coosa River, pretty much where swim jigging was invented. Yep. I don't know what I'm. I won't be punching, I'm frogging. Punching, frogging. Spotted bass. Swim a jig. I like just swimming a crawfish, not even a jig. Just hopping like a little. What's it doing? It's gonna be a fun, hot week. Rain every day. I Hope think. it goes better than the last one. Yep, need a top ten. I'm need winning I'm this winning. week. Yeah, I'm winning. You heard it first, right here. Probably on this swim jig. Brad's gonna win. It's over. It's over. Hey, Brad. Hi, Brad. It's over. Brad's not a man of many words. <laughs> <laughs> Went the far drive for me, three hours. It's about six. Six on the dot. Straight road. No, no, I ain't never been here, so kind of pumped road. to go see. Yeah. Well, that's not straight. Yeah, straight this way, then straight that way. Back straight that way. That's a Never been here, so. Coosa River was fun ish. I just don't have much luck on it, so we'll see. I like it. I like it. I, just, I like catching spotted bass. I like catching largemouth. The only thing is they got a lot of locals for this tournament. A lot of locals. A lot of Alabama mofos. It's because all they do around there is fish. And I ain't scared. I'll catch them on the live scope because, you know, live scope's cheap. Live scope's the devil. He has been kind of scared lately that you're going to ban it. We just have to do what we did before, live scoop. Go back to punching and frogging. How I got to the elites. You can do that when you fish Red River, Arkansas River, and where else? Logan Martin. <laughs> How'd you do there? I should have been top 12. Should have. Me too. Yeah, but you didn't. I, I didn't add all dead fish. I finished 13th. <laughs> My live well came unplugged. I was throwing a shaky head on. I can't tell you what I was doing. I didn't know how to tie knots back then. Still don't. So anyway, check in. Maybe some fish catches. Probably a lot of fish shaking off in this week. Let's I ain't see. shaking anything off. Never again. Ever. Wednesday at Santee Cooper. Shook three off. And Jack's never had a bite in there. That's good because I like to catch them all. You're welcome. Brad telling Man, us call. That was Brad telling us it's time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>
every little stump or log we've seen right off the edge where it breaks, uh, it's got fish on it. So. Catch about nine pounds doing this. Thank you, sir. Well, it's a Coosa River Lake, it seems like. Well, it is. You know, I'm spotted bass, I think that's all we caught so far, but I think the thing's to find a large mount. If you can find a large mount, you're good. But you gotta catch five of them a day. I'm sure the winter is gonna have a few decent uh, spotted bass and like two or three kicker large mount. Just gotta figure out what the large mount are doing. Definitely a shad spawn going on. Everywhere we've been so far, there's shad everywhere. Kind of slowed down a little bit now that the sun's up, but every bank we were on this morning was just shad everywhere and just there was so much of it, it was hard to fish. So, uh, we're gonna keep at it. Caught most of them on a jerk bait so far, just right off of the grass. And we'll keep trying to figure out something new every time we stop and try not to miss anything. But it's not that big of a lake, so we're just trying to take our time going down, but at the same time, you can't be too slow in case the weather changes and we miss everything. Day one of practice. It sucks out there terribly. It just sucks. Can't catch them any kind of way. Caught a few jerking. That's it. Literally, that's it. And it wasn't many. Making some deer burgers, I guess. Just to sum up how my day went, I've been crapped on not once but twice by a bird today. True story. <coughs> Go look at my look at my boat. Look at all the bird crap. I'm telling you, the one that blew up on the popper, like it was like somebody dropped a brick in water. Like I made a cast. I was watching the shad, and I just made a cast to the seawall, and you know how the popper hits and goes, mm -hmm. and it kind of skips. It skipped and I clicked over and I'm watching and I see one bust on shad and then I hear whoosh. I look back and my line just gone this way. I was like, and the poppers come up. I heard that one hit that top water right there. That was it. Like, second cast, like, underneath some overhanging trees and they missed it completely. That's it. Shaky head was fun and then it was no good. There's tournaments on this lake five days a week. Really? Well, they were giving me the rundown today. I'm telling you, it was fun. It was like listening to the grumpy old man. They'll fish till three o'clock on Saturday. They'll take them a couple hour break and fish from six to wherever they fish to the night tournaments. And then they'll be back Sunday morning for the next. Yep. And there's a Monday night or a Tuesday night or a Thursday night. Or... And this place ain't very really big for that. I just wish we were somewhere cool that had a lot of bass. Everywhere in like northern Arkansas and southwestern Missouri, I can go to any freaking bank and catch a fish. I'm used to shooting fish, so. Sweet. At least you're interested in something. It's one of those where you like push it. Yeah, I caught that one that threw up the other day. Live scoping's for losers anyway. That's true. Only mm. loser. We suck. <laughs>
Bunch of cheaters. Cheaters. Gonna say Brock. He about to jump off a cliff. He's so standing on the edge. I didn't get a bite at noon. Oh no, he was mad as a hornet when I fuck up. Hello. What you doing, Brock? Nothing. I'm not the one that had bad practice. This is this is the third in a row. Murray, I just got damn lucky every day in the tournament talk. <laughs> Flipping jigs is not something you think you're gonna lose a lot of, so I, you know you don't carry a whole lot of flipping jigs with you. And yesterday I went through like three or four, and I'm like, shit, I ain't gonna have enough. So I started using this ball head jig; it don't stay hung up as much. I have something thump the jig like on slack line, but there was nothing there. There's one. There's one there. I, I got one now. It ain't. Might be a keeper though. He swallowed that thing. Back up, hey, we'll get you. up I'm like kind of like thought I was dreaming I'm like looking it's quiet nobody's there I'm like damn it must be like four in the morning Hank had the damn light on and you didn't even look up dude I, I don't know what happened I just woke up at 6 30 I'm like oh shit I'm late like I guess I was tired I don't know I like just yeah put clothes on brush my teeth put everything just hauled butt. I'm like, oh, well, I missed the main main bite, so might as well just take my time. I normally wake up like with movement and everything around, like everybody out. I, I don't even remember flinching. <laughs> I saw you sitting down too, dude. No. I, I, you weren't even up there. You fucking seen me? Yeah, dude. Dude, you didn't see nothing but this. I saw you this morning. That's how you gonna walk when you're 40 months. Up the river. He, said he, 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 said he, up, today. he said he looked up this morning, it was 6.30 and we were all hey, gone. If you don't start doing a lot of these months exercises, <laughs> your next one goes. Oh, I know. You need to get that thing Watson promotes. <coughs> Raise that sucker to high uh, level. Yeah, mm -hmm. every cast I'll be breaking her eyes. When's the last time you've been fishing? Fishing? Today. No, fishing, fishing. Without <coughs> electronics. I try to fish without electronics. But it only lasts like seven minutes. I turned it off a while today. It just kind of went down the bank throwing it. Shit. It's boring. Didn't catch anything, so I turned it back on. <laughs> it's not Some me. of those points you go across when you're fishing, when the last time you look up there, and you think you got a whole bunch of interference until it swims off. And you realize it's just an acre of shad. So I don't understand a place that's got this much bait, and this much shad, and this much mayfly. Why there ain't more going on? Yeah, I saw one fish today this evening. And I was out in the middle of the creek just looking. I was like, let me just get out in the middle. 
and I found a bait ball and there was a fish with it. He stayed with that pile forever, just going in and out of it. And I kept throwing, he wouldn't eat. Huh? He was so worried about that bait. Rub it out! Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Rub it out! <laughs> oh! Rub it out, bro! Rub it out! I promise you, it's just a cramp. Oh, oh, oh. Brad, come on now. Take it like a cheese. So that's what's going on in that room. My day was awesome. It consisted of exactly how yesterday was, just basically caught everything on a jerk bait today. I uh, was able to catch one four and a half. Pointless. We'll catch her for the tournament now. It's done. It's over. I think if you keep the jerk bait in the hand all tournament you might be able to you should be able to catch five. I can't figure anything else out. Just glued to the live scope. What's your plan tomorrow? I don't know. Kinda expand I guess, try to find more stuff because I uh, just don't want to run out of areas and then, I mean it's not a big lake so you should be able to find new stuff during the tournament. We'll see. Maybe tie on a jig and go to flipping. Try to get lucky. On a shad spawn, which don't look like it's happening here, but I don't know. Just gotta figure something else out. Figured out the jerk weight deal. And it's still tough to catch them that way, but maybe to catch a few, so just gotta figure out how to catch more. The water kind of looks hot here. Yeah, I tried. Uh, I just started doing it a little bit on some juicy looking shit, kind of looking like this. Have you got caught jerking like this stuff? But when we was on the phone, he's like, dude, I just seen a damn wolf pack swimming down the damn bank. Huh. There's way more people down here. Huh? A lot of people down here today. Practice is over. Uh, tough practice. Uh, we figured out one deal, so we're going to stick with that tomorrow. Uh, we had a good day today. We caught some fish, and the best part is we got to end it out with uh, some Mexican food and at the gym. So can't complain with that. So that's all we're going to do tomorrow is hope for what we've been practicing for and hope to catch that, 12 pounds at least. That's what we're going for. Getting a little snug back there. Why? You've been looking at my ass. I'm just letting you Five-time Elite Series at Brides made a four-time classic qualifier from Mississippi, Brock Mosley.
Rock mostly with five fish here today. Eight pounds, 12 ounces, puts them in 16 plate. It takes one or two of those bites to, to get back in this thing. But, uh, you know, all in all, you know, it don't look good on paper, but we survived day one. It could have been a lot worse. So uh, we'll just have to go out there tomorrow, see if we can run into a big bite and uh, get back in the Saturday. Day one is in the books. I struggled all day. I salvaged my day in the last 30 minutes. I ran all the way down the lake, caught two off live scope. Uh, one to finish my limit and then one to call in the last 20 minutes. We couldn't run any good bites today. Uh, may change it up tomorrow. All we need is one big bite and we'll be right back in this thing. That's all it takes here. These grinders, you catch one three or four pounder, you pass a bunch of big ones. So that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow and see if we can make it happen. That sucks. How'd you do out there? I could. Inside the cut currently, and going to be right there at that cut line. But it's another shot to begin tomorrow. We're going to go out there and try. It was, uh, it was a tough day. Everything went wrong today, so we're going to turn around and make everything right tomorrow. Just, it, they were biting really weird today. Uh, the practice and things didn't get off. Like, Unfortunately, it off. So, I don't know what changed, but hopefully tomorrow is different. Get back to how practice was and we did catch it. All right, guys, a little delay on the Lay Lake video, and we're going to shoot you straight because this is what we want. We want behind the scenes and what goes on. The reason we're late, we had a disagreement at Lay Lake. We, we both left there ticked off. What family does not have disagreements? We've been traveling together five years. We've never had one, never had an issue, and it just happens, especially when you care about people. You can't just let it go. It takes you a little time to blow off some steam, and we power through it. We bust through it. That's what family's all about. We're stronger than ever now. That's all it was. Just, it goes through it. You go through it with all the brothers. My brothers, I used to hate them. Still do, but at the same time, you love them. So, yeah, that's what it was, but uh, we, we joke around a lot, too, so that's our problem. But I still, we joke every day, all day. And we went ahead and just powered the Sabine River through. You guys already seen that video, seen everything back to normal. And we wanted to do this clip, and we couldn't at Sabine, because we got sidetracked. You see how that ended. Sidetracked. <laughs> Had a little partying going on. Uh, but, uh, we wanted to do it here. We're at ICAST wrapping up. Uh, you guys will be able to see that video next, and we want to shoot you straight, and that's what we're doing. Straight we're up. back and stronger than ever. <laughs>